good lessons. Someone sent me an email trying to teach me. Who's going to teach me? William Shakespeare, the author of Romeo and Juliet. He's going to teach me. What is he teaching? Three sentences for getting success. No more than other. That's, you know, not others. No, this is Shakespeare, doesn't know English. No more than other. Work more than other. Expect less than other. Yes, yeah, Sheikh. Uh, I was under the impression that success is by, you know, Salah and applying Islam, not by knowing more than other and working more than other and expecting more than other. And this is all bad English. It's an incorrect phrase to say expect less than other. There must be others, right? Not other sub, you know, this doesn't make sense. Sentence structure wise, this is horrible, but this is Shakespeare for you. And so people now, you know, it's not, we, they don't quote the Prophet I'm going to learn from Shakespeare. And it is not enough to send me Shakespeare. Guess who they sent me also? Mother Teresa. <laughs> Mother Teresa, she said, if we cannot love the person whom we see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? Sounds deep, right? Well, let me tell you something about Mother Teresa, which you don't know. This is a letter which she wrote and was discovered and it was compiled in a book which is published. You can go buy it from the bookstore. The letters that Mother Teresa wrote before she died and were discovered after she died. You want to know what Mother Teresa was upon? Check it out. She said, Lord, my God, you have thrown me away as unwanted, unloved. I call, I cling, I want, and there is no one to answer, no one. Alone. This is what shirk does to you, does to you, by the way. Where is my faith? Even deep down right in, there's nothing. To the people, she was a saint. She was the believer. She was, this was the reality of a woman who took Jesus as a God besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This, there's more. She said, I have no faith. She said, I dare not utter the words and thoughts that crowd in my heart. I am told God loves me and yet the reality of the darkness and coldness and emptiness is so great that nothing touches my soul. She was a miserable person. Wallahi, this is what shirk does. This is what happens when one is distant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She said, did I make a mistake in surrendering blindly to the call of the sacred heart? Yes, you have made a mistake. She even compared her problems to hell and admitted that she had begun to doubt the existence of heaven and God. She was like an atheist, agnostic actually. Agnostic is someone who doubts whether there's a God or not. She said, the smile she wrote is a mask or a cloak that covers everything. I spoke as if my very heart was in love with God, a tender personal love. If you were there, you would have said, what hypocrisy. This is what she's saying. That you would think that I'm a hypocrite because she claims, she says that she loves God in front of the masses, inside she doesn't even know whether she believes in God or not. She said, Jesus, she sent a letter to one of the priests, reverence. She told him, Jesus has a very special love for you, as usual. As for me, the silence and emptiness is so great that I look and do not see, listen and do not hear. As Allah says, لَهُمْ آذَانٌ لَا يَسْمَعُونَ بِهَا وَلَهُمْ أَعْيُنٌ لَا يُبْصِرُونَ بِهَا They have ears with which they do not hear, they have eyes with which they do not see. Just as Allah described them in the Quran. She said, I do, I look, I don't see, I listen, I do not hear. The tongue moves in prayer, but does not speak. And this was published in Times Magazine, I'll give you the reference, right here, check it out. This is the source, Mother Teresa, Come Be, uh, come, be My Light. A 2007 non-fiction book featuring a compilation of letters that Mother Teresa wrote to various spiritual advisors. If you don't believe me, go to Google, put Times Magazine, one of the most famous magazines in the world, and put Mother Teresa's letters and read the article with these quotations yourself. So now I'm going to learn Islam from Mother Teresa. Do we need these kind of quotations? Do we send this to Muslims? Not everyone that receives them has knowledge. Some people are fooled with the content. We have to be very particular about what we send my brothers and sisters in Islam.